Travis Kalanick is no CEO. This thought had not occurred to me until I stumbled across a piece at Wired and found myself thinking back to Mark Zuckerberg's early days trying to run Facebook, which, well, it wasn't pretty then. But then Zook brought in adult supervision and things turned around. Now Uber's Kalanick is looking for his Sheryl Sandberg, and there's a problem here because nothing about the way Kalanick has been running Uber suggests he'll take a COO running his business the way Mark Zuckerberg took to his, because truly Travis Kalanick is no CEO. I'm not going to say that Travis Kalanick is too young to be a CEO, unlike Mark Zuckerberg or Matt Mullenweg. Kalanick, age 40, is an adult, and I don't care that he was just spotted a couple of days ago at a sexist double on Tom themed party during a period while he's being examined for creating a sexist environment at Uber. People go to parties with their friends, so it's all good on this front, Travis. But Uber's CEO is missing the point when it comes to finding a sidekick. Mark Zuckerberg needed an adult with an even temperament to handle the nitty-gritty at Facebook. He was brash, but once relieved of COO duties, Zuckerberg grew up. He became a great spokesman for the image of Facebook. And there's nothing to suggest Kalanick can do the same. In fact, there's plenty of evidence that suggests very much the opposite. Being a CEO is a public-facing position. Just as early Uber investor Ashton Kutcher has a tendency to say the wrong things, right down in his soul, Travis Kalanick seems to believe that unapologetically creating tension is a good business strategy. And here's the thing, within limits, he's correct. When people get too comfortable, their performance slips. But a CEO's job is to make things look good, not difficult. Your employees need to believe you've got things under control all the time. So do your shareholders, so do your customers. And when you get big enough for it to matter, so does the public and, you know, government regulators. Now, I'll give Kalanick credit for having the insight to distance himself from Donald Trump, but it's one of the few things he's done right as CEO. And actually, when you think about it, the idea of walking away from a pro-business president is questionable too, so maybe not so good. But overall, Kalanick presiding over, and it seems planning to continue to do so, an organization that doesn't even have a small clue about customer service, for example, is a mistake. Now, I can see Travis Kalanick as Uber COO. If he flipped his plans for a sidekick, he could succeed. So go ahead, Travis, run an employee hostile workplace. Keep that fact under wraps any way you need to and let the CEO handle the public stuff. You're in charge, and regardless of the title you carry, you can stay there. But Travis Kalanick is no CEO. Well, on to you then. Do you understand the difference between a CEO and a COO? And are you in the right role at your own company? Want to talk about it? I'm the answer guy, and I'll be back.